Do you explain to Nigerians why we would need to tow the Lagos Ibadan Road, mm. the second Niger Bridge? As you know, Nigerians, we don't like to hear that we have to be paying extra for plying Anything. our road. After all, it's our own. <laughs> so why, why do we need to do this? Well, I think that, first of all, is to understand that out of about 200,000 plus kilometers, the total uh, uh, quantity of roads that will be under uh, the tolling policy approved by government is barely 5% of that. So it's not, it's not such a large volume of roads that will be tolled. But Lagos or uh, <coughs> Ibado, for example, was built as a toll road in any event from day one. And uh, when we also want to sustain quality of service, maintenance, and all of that, uh, I think it is only sensible that those type of roads that have high volumes of traffic can be subject to those kind of uh, commercial policies in order not just to raise revenues to maintain the roads, but tolling and its uh, concomitant services are also part of economic uh, expansion and creation. Mm. Tolling itself globally is a business. So it's not my children or the president's children who will be managing, operating the toll stations. But that's new employment. We have to continue to open up all of the possible vistas of, 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 of economic opportunities in this country. We can't just stay with agri, oil, te, mm. uh, tech, and all of that. Mm. We haven't opened up the economy of sports, for example. Mm. And so there's so much. We really have no business with the challenges we're facing. Mm. But one after the other, once you build the foundation, which is infrastructure, you can't have sports also without journeys to stadium, to mm -hmm. theaters, and all of right. that. So the fundamentals are what this government is putting in okay, place. Okay. And I challenge any of our opponents to provide an alternative solution. And I haven't heard it. Right, How can me... you run an economy without infrastructure? 